What is reactivity? Reactivity from the word reaction. Reaction means how to react. So reactivity means how to react. How our organism react to, our, to, to external and to an exogenous and endogenous factors. Exogenous and endogenous factors. Understood? There are types of reactivity. The first common type, and it's already hereditary reactivity, is species, species, species reactivity. Species reactivity. What does it mean? It's one common general reaction for one type of animal or people. For example, birds, when the environmental uh, factors are changing, they get immigration. Immigration. Bird. All birds get, uh, get a migration. So this is general reaction, one reaction. Among people, for example, when we get hungry, we want to eat. This is our general reaction for all people. Sp uh, this is species reactivity. General type is hereditary. Next type is group reactivity. It means when we divide people into groups, into groups. How we can divide people into groups? For example, by gender. Female, male. Female has own reactions. Male has own reactions. Uh, by age. Uh, children, adult, all people also they have own reaction. I will tell later examples. Uh, by constitution, constitution, body, uh, body structure, anatomical, phys uh, ph uh, physiological uh, pr uh, criteria or properties our body, also divided. Uh, by, uh, by blood groups, blood group, for example, we can divide people into four types. First group type, second group, and third, and so on. Next type of reactivity is individual. It means everybody has own reaction. Next types of reactivity, specific, non-specific. This, this is very important. Specific reactivity, how to react to antigen. Specific, how to react to antigen. And how we react to antigen, we doing antibodies. Non-specific, non-specific, when we react to non-antigen. For example, any, any factors, but not antigen. For example, hypoxia. Hypoxia is non-antigen. Hungry, hunger, starvation also. Coldness, hot weather, this is non-antigen. So our reaction for these factors is non-specific. Next types of reactivity is physiological, pathological. Physiological means normal reaction or adequate reaction. Pathological is abnormal reaction. Let us take examples. Uh, specific, it also, it could be uh, phys uh, physiological and pathological. Non-specific also, physiological and pathological. But specific, I said already, it's uh, our reaction to antigen, antibody. How it could be normal? Adequate reaction. It, uh, it could be normal when we're doing antibodies. This is normal reaction. Normal, specific. How it could be uh, specific, abnormal, pathological. When we react to antigen, but the reaction is abnormal. For example, allergy, allergy. For example, when we antibodies doing very more, we call this immune proliferation. Or the opposite, we doing very less antibodies, we, we, we call it uh, uh, immune depression or immune deficit. And when we doing antibodies, and these antibodies are uh, affect our cells, they damage our own cells. We call this autoimmune diseases. So, specific pathological reaction could be allergy, autoimmune disease, immune proliferation, immune depression, and immune deficit. Uh, normal physiological specific reaction is our immunity, our immune system. Non-specific also could be physiological, pathological. Physiological, for example, when the weather is cold, very cold, we wear uh, hard clothes. This normal reaction. But it could be also pathological. Can you imagine when the cold, uh, when the weather is cold, and uh, and uh, and uh, human uh, get without clothes in cold weather? 
This is abnormal reaction. What we will, uh, will think about? We will think that he has some, some diseases. This patient, he will have some diseases. So abnormal uh, pathological non-specific reaction could be among sick people. A normal reaction among healthy people. This is all types of reactivity. Species, group, individual, specific, non-specific, uh, uh, physiological and pathological uh, forms of reaction how we can react forms of reaction by uh, by by intensity and uh, and by by intensity of reaction the reaction could be normergy nor rg means normal reaction with uh, with good with uh, normal speech normal speed normal speed uh, hyperergy. Hyperergy means intensive reaction. Intensive reaction. Uh, uh, hypoergy, weak reaction, poor reaction. Energy, no reaction. And paroergy, pathological reaction. Let us take the example. Our pupil to the light, how it react? It's contracted by normal speed. If our pupil contracted to the light very quickly, very fast, this is hyperergy. Hyperergy. If it contracted uh, to the light very slowly, this is hypoergy. Mm -hmm. If our pupil no react to the light, this energy, energy, no reaction. If our pupil dilated to the light, paroergy. Pathological reaction. Understood. What about I said about uh, 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 age? Age. How to divide to, uh, to age and constitution? About age. For example, in children, the reaction in general hyperergic, hyperergic, intensive reaction. That's why the diseases in children are acute in duration, acute or acutest. But the opposite in old people. In old people, the reaction is hypoergic, poor, and the disease is in common chronic. For example, is that, uh, the infectious disease among uh, children they could be generalized because they have uh, they have uh, poor barrier systems inside, so the uh, the infection could be generalized as soon as the the, the drugs also could be generalized. When we give medicine, it also gets better. But in old people, the opposite. So next, in children, their centers, centers for example, center for hypoxia, center for uh, uh, for pain, they are not completed yet. They are not completed uh, in, in, uh, structurally. They are not completed. So they associate, they feel the pain not the similar as we feel. They feel the pain, that just abnormal uh, 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 action. But we feel pain, not like ch ch children. We feel, uh, we understand that this uh, this is pain. They couldn't understand that this is pain. <laughs> and uh, there are other examples uh, in old people. The most common disease are, as I said, chronic and. Uh, cancers, tumors, uh, and even cancers is chronic, but cancers in children are acute. Uh, about male and female, male and female difference. For example, female, uh, they are more resistance for, there are more resistance for bleeding, for starvation, for hypoxia, and for cold weather. There are resistance, but ma uh, male not resistance for starvation, hypoxia, and so on. Why? Because they have already chronic bleeding menstrual cycle, and they lost blood. And why they, uh, why they lost blood? They lost blood, so they are adaptive for bleeding, resistance for bleeding. They lost blood, together with blood, they lost sugar, so they are resistance for starvation. They lost temperature, so they are resistance for cold weather. weather. And, and they lost uh, 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 
sugar, temperature, and bleeding, and they also lost water. So they are resistance for the hydration. <laughs> but they least resistance for, for example, stress, emotional stress, and alcohol and some drugs. Less resistance. But men are more resistant. Also, among females, they are uh, they are more predisposed for autoimmune diseases, for hyperthyroidism, uh, for depression. They are more predisposed, but female. But men are more predisposed for strokes and myocardial infarctions diseases. Like this. This is our reactivity. How it could be changed? Uh, how it could? About constitu uh, constitution, constitution. What I said that we can divide the group into constitution. Uh, uh, hypocrite divided into four types according to mood, for example. But we need in medicine dividing by Chornarutsky. Chornarutsky scientist, he divided people into three types. Hypersthenic, normasthenic, asthenic. Hypersthenic, big people, uh, have, uh, weight, big weight. Normasthenic and asthenic. Asthenic, asthenic is 10 people. Why he divide? He divide according to predisposing for disease. For example, hypersthenic, they are predisposed for uh, hypertension, uh, gastric ulcers, uh, uh, cholangitis, thrombosis, strokes, diabetes mellitus, and so on. This hypersthenic. Asthenic, they are more predisposed for anemia, hypotension, for example, hypotension, uh, gastritis, about normasthenic, normasthenic, they are more predisposed for uh, lung diseases and diseases of, uh, of skeletal muscle, uh, skeletal, not skeletal muscle, it means muscle skeletal system diseases in general. He divides like this. It, this is more helpful in medicine, for example. When, we, when I am sitting in my clinic and uh, come for me a patient, patient is heavy weight, yes, I already know what, which disease he predisposed for. I already know maybe diabetes, maybe hypertension, maybe thrombosis. Understood? This divided by Chernobyl. This is about reactivity, reactivity in general. About resistance, what is resistance? Resistance means uh, when, uh, when we can, uh, resistance means when we can protect against pathogenic factors. Resistance also divided into specific, non-specific, Specific means against antigen, non-specific against non-antigen factors. Resistance also divided into hereditary and acquired. Hereditary, for example, uh, children are delivered uh, already with resistance for some infectious diseases. This is hereditary. And uh, resistance could be also acquired. Resistance divided into active and passive. Active, it means when we do this resistance, for example, we doing antibodies, we doing phagocytosis, uh, we activate our immune system, this is active. It means we need energy. Passive, no need for energy. For example, skin, skin barriers, there are no need for energy, this is just cover. But this protects my body from a lot of pathogenic factors. <coughs> Also, resistance could be natural, natural and artificial. Natural, after diseases, after infectious diseases, we get immunity. This is natural. It could be also artificial. Artificial means to give vaccination. Vaccination, I give uh, artificial, means microbes and our body doing, doing uh, antibodies. <coughs> uh, uh, about passive, passive resistance, when we uh, need no need for energy, I said skin and barriers, and also we can give already prepared antibodies, serum antibodies. <coughs> this is pa passive resistance. Uh, last thing what I wanted to say, among, among reactivity in children, there could be pathological re reaction of in children, we call this uh, uh, 
Dia, dia tesis. Dia tesis. Dia tesis. What does it mean? It's a normal reaction among children, but it's not allergy. Other people uh, th think that this is allergy. It's not allergy. It's just a normal reaction among children. It could be uh, one time, uh, first time is exudative. Uh, uh, it it uh, manifested by uh, as asthma, for example, asthma, or some skin rashes, for example. It's due to an uh, abnormal reaction of in children due to production of immune globulin E. Immune globulin E. Second type is uh, is uh, hypo hypo hypotrophic lymphogenic hypotrophic uh, diathesis. It's abnormal reaction among children in developing countries due to uh, that they have low adaptation system, uh, weak adaptation system. In generally, when we have stress, we could have hypertrophy, hyperplasia of adrenal gland. These children could the opposite, have the opposite, atrophy of adrenal gland. And third type of uh, diathesis is uh, uh, neurogenic, neurogenic diathesis, when the children are more nervous, uh, and, uh, more nervous. <coughs> This is three types of uh, abnormal reaction among among kids. In general, this is my this is our topic for today. This is our topic for today. Thank you very much.